गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेंटिशन इन मेमल्स डेंटिशन इन मेमल्स वी विल टच अपॉन द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स मीनिंग ऑफ डेंटिशन फंक्शंस ऑफ टीथ टीथलेस मेमल्स ओरिजिन एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टीथ एंड टाइप ऑफ डेंटिशन इन मेमल्स डेंटल फार्मूला एंड ओरिजिन रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ टीथ इन मेमल्स एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ टीथ नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स स्टार्ट द मीनिंग ऑफ डेंटिशन इन मेमल्स the hard and usually pointed structures connected to the jaw bone in buccal cavity of vertebrates are known as teeth koi bhi aisi sanrachna pointed nucleus aur kathor sanrachna jo jabdon se judi hui rehti hai kashyorukiyon ke wo teeth kehlate hain arrangement of teeth in upper and lower jaw is mainly the premaxilla maxilla and dentary is called dentition aur in jabdon par दांतों का जो विन्यास है जो पैटर्न है लगे रहने का पैटर्न है वो उसे डेंटिशन कहते हैं द फंक्शन ऑफ टीथ आर एज फॉलो द प्राइमरी फंक्शन ऑफ द टीथ इज टू ग्रास होल्ड द प्रे एंड फूड भोजन को पकड़े रखना बकल के विटी के अंदर पकड़े रखना ये दांतों का प्राथमिक कार्य होता है टीथ आर मॉडिफाइड टू सर्व ए ग्राइंडिंग मिल फॉर द चुविंग फूड और जो टूथ हैं वो ग्राइंडिंग मिल चक्की की तरह काम करते हैं भोजन को चक्की की तरह पीसते हैं दांत टीथ आर सर्व टू एज दिपन ऑफ ऑफेंस एंड डिफेंस वर्किंग एज चियरिंग ऑर्गन और लड़ाई के समय बचाव और आक्रमण में ये दांत काम में आते हैं कुछ स्तनधारी ऐसे भी होते हैं जिनके अंदर टूथ नहीं होते इन्हें टूथलेस मेमल्स कहते हैं नॉट ऑल मेमल्स पजेस टूथ इन सम मोनोस्ट्रेम्स एकेडना इन सम अमेरिकन एंटीटर एंड स्पाइनियन एंटीटर टेक्यूगुलोसिस हैव नो टीथ इन देयर माउथ एट एनी स्टेज डेक्विल प्लेटिपस ऑर्निथोरिंकस एनाटिनस हैज नो टीथ एम्ब्रियोनिक टीथ दे हैव इन एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज सम टीथ इज बट दे आर रेप्लेस्ड इन एडल्ट बाई हॉर्नी एपिडर्मल प्लेट्स बट नो ट्रू टीथ आर प्रेजेंट इन मर्मेकोफेगा हैज नो टीथ and in whales in the fetal fetal teeth are present but replaced by before uh, the birth by the valine plates for straining the planktonic food now origin and structure of teeth in mammals teeth have evolved from the denticles which are released from armor nearing the margin of mouth on ossification in the integument a typical mammalian tooth can be distinguished into the three uh, parts crown root and neck the crown is exposed part of the root of the tooth and the root is the embedded part of the teeth and the crown is the middle part of the tooth where these two parts uh, meet each other tooth encloses a pulp cavity inside it and they contain blood vessels nerves and connective tissue uh, in in them this is the structure of a tooth this is the pulp cavity which is supplied by the blood capillaries and this one is the white one is the odontoblastic layer of a membrane which secrete dentin this is this one is dentin and this is the enamel enamel is the hardest part and made up of with the, from the ectoderm and the dentin is made up of with the mesoderm and this is the socket in which this is embedded and this these are the blood capillaries shown in the colored enamel dentin pulp cavity this one is gum and this is periodontal membrane and cementum in which this is embedded this is this one the jaw bone three kinds there are three kinds of tissues in a typical tooth enamel dentin and cement unworn crown is covered by a thin very hard glistening layer called enamel enamel is the hardest and heaviest tissue of the vertebrate body it is composed of crystals of hydroxypatite and it is ectodermal in origin and totally acellular no living cell is found in the enamel blow enamel a hard dermal bony substance layer is found called dentine it is the most important part of the tooth dentine it is harder than the bone but softer than enamel human dentine is composed mainly calcium phosphate and fluoride and organic matter and calcium carbonate in such such percentage that root of tooth is covered by a thin layer of cement and vascular periodontal membrane and a, of a strong connective tissue fibers these are the various stages of development of tooth in the gum and this is the initial stage primordial cells which are collected to generate germinate the food and these are this is the dental 
papillae stage and this one is the dental papilla is growing up to the towards the uh, towards the outside and this one is the another stage developing stage in which a dental pulp is there and the bone is there and enamel is formed around the in in form of cap of dentine and this one is the inside the gum this one is the dentine and this this is dentine this is enamel and this is pulp cavity and this is periodontal odontoblastic cells which secrete dentine and this one is vessels blood vessels and nerve supply in the pulp cavity is there cement is a non vascular bone and usually acellular it is softer than the dentine and is rich in collagenous fiber fibers it bears rapidly when exposed pulp cavity is lined by a layer of bone cells called odontoblast both dentine and cement are mesodermal in origin now the type of dentition in mammals mammals mein dentition dant vinyas kitne prakar ka hota hai classification according to the shape and size two types of dentition is found in the mammals homodont dentition and heterodont dentition homodont dentition in which all the teeth are similar in shape and size that is homodont dentition uh, among mammals certain uh, cetacean homodont dentition tooth are which are similar in shape and size in which a uh, whale dolphin porpoises armadillo these are homodont dentition heterodont dentition all the tooth are not similar they they are dissimilar in shape and size they are called heterodont heterodont or anisodont dentition in mammals for example canines and for example man and monkey and there are four types uh, incisor canine molar premolar there are various types of teeth are present in the mouth these are called heterodont condition now the type of teeth heterodont condition in heterodont condition, teeth are of mainly distinguished into four types these are incisor canines premolars and molars in first one as incisors they are situated anteriorly in the premaxilla in the upper jaw and tip of the dentaries in lower jaw they are conical shaped and single rooted and monocuspid single cuspid hota hai ek root hoti hai aur conical shape hote hain conical shape ya chisel shape hote hain chisel yani chhani ke aakar ke hote hain and uh, they are uh, they are used for cutting we cutting ke kaam aate hain cutting ke ये कार्ड में आते हैं इनसाइजर में भी टोटली एबसेंट इन स्लॉथ स्लॉथ में नहीं बहते एंड इन द अपर जो ऑफ शीप एंड ऑक्स और भेड़ और गाय भैंस गाय भैंस इनके अपर जो में नहीं बहते इन रोडेंट्स एंड लेगोमॉर्फ इनसाइजर आर चेजल सेट इनमें जो है छैनी के आकार के होते हैं और ओपन रूटेड थ्रो कंटिन्यू टू ग्रो थ्रू आउट द लाइफ और लाइफ टाइम ये बढ़ते रहते हैं दूसरे हैं कैनाइंस कैनाइंस लाइ इमीडिएटली बिहाइंड द इंसाइजर्स दे आर सिंगल इन ईच हाफ ऑफ द जॉ दे आर लार्ज पॉइंटेड एंड लॉन्ग क्राउन विद अ सिंगल रूट अकेली रूट होती है एक क्राउन होता है लेकिन कठोर होते हैं दे आर यूज फॉर पीरसिंग चीरने और फाड़ने के काम आते हैं टीयरिंग द फ्लश एंड प्रे ये कार्निवरस एनिमल्स के अंदर पाए जाते हैं Sometimes canines are used to holding the prey, mainly uh, seen in the carnivorous animals. Mouth के अंदर उस शिकार को पकड़े रखने के लिए या एक स्थान से दूसरे स्थान पर ले जाने के लिए भी canine काम में आते हैं. Rodents and lagomorphs, the canine are absent, and leaving a space between the incisors and premolars is called the uh, the vacant space is called diastema. Diastema is present in the lagomorph or rabbit. premolars following the canines there are premolars and bicuspid teeth they have two roots and two cusps and premolars are used to grinding the food material now the um, fourth one are the molars molars lie behind the premolars they have two or more roots and several cusps on their upper side molars are used for crushing the food and churning the food or the grinding the food premolars and molars are collectively called as cheek teeth the both are uh, used for churning the food these are the incisor canine premolar and molar these are the roots and these are the uh, these are their uh, canine these are their ye inke shikhar yani top most and uh, these are the roots and this is the gum and these are the molar and premolar these are the more than one root according to the mode of the attachment teeth are of acrodont acrodont pleurodont and thicodont the now acrodont acrodont condition is occur in most of the vertebrates in which teeth are attached to the crest of the jaw and the attached to the free surface of and submit the jawbone as the shark in frog 
Such teeth are uh, apt to break off easily but are replaced in many times in lifetime. Pleurodont, pleurodont are the, the teeth are present in lateral sites. These are pleurodonts. This condition occur commonly in urodela and lizards. Teeth are attached to the uh, self-like indentation, indentation uh, on the inner margin of the jawbone uh, by their basis as well as on one side. Acrodont and pleurodont tooth are that uh, rootless. So they have uh, so the nerves and blood supply either for puberty or long lateral side at the base of the tooth. Thigodont. Thigodont type dentists in found in the some species, crocodiles and mostly in human being. Human. And uh, this type of teeth are uh, have roots, one or more roots, and uh, they have they are embedded in the socket called socket of bones or alveoli. A crown is there, crown is projected above the socket. And these are the various type of teeth, acrodont and pleurodont sideways and they are thicodont embedded in the jawbone. These are the another structure of uh, showing the acrodont, pleurodont and uh, thicodont. Succession of teeth. On the basis of succession, teeth are, uh, can be divided into the three categories, polyphyodont, diphyodont and monophyodont. Polyphyodont teeth are being constantly refreshed and defi indefinitely number of times during lifetime. They are called uh, polyphyodont, for example, amphibian and reptiles, polyphyodonts. And diphyodonts, in lifetime, two times, uh, teeth are replaced by in two times. These are mostly in mammals. There are two successions. Uh, teeth developed during the lifetime in two successive stages, sets, and this condition is known as diphyodont. Diphyodont. Teeth are first set are called deciduous or milk teeth and they are usually erupt after birth. They are replaced by the permanent condition. For example, man and monkey. And uh, third one is the monophyodont. They come once in life. For example, platypus, marsupials, moles, and sirenian and cetaceans. Blue whale by the Among fossil mammals, triconodont. Fossils mammals uh, in another a different type of uh, teeth are there. Triconodont. This condition molars possess three cones or three cusp arranged into the anterior posterior line. This type of molar teeth are found in the fossil Mesozoic mammals, uh, in, uh, for example, in Triconodonta. Now, second one are the tri-tuberculates. Here, the tubercles arranged in form of a triangle. So, therefore, they are called as tritriverclates. This condition is found among the fossil mesozoic mammals, for example, Splanchotherium. Spalocotherium is the tritriverclate teeth are there. Depend on the feeding habits, uh, teeth are of uh, following types. Bunodonts. When the cusp in the cheek teeth remain separate and rounded, the teeth are called a bunodont. Buno means mount. Don't mean teeth mound yeah mound like is uh, mm, dome shaped agar koi daant hai to wo bunodont kehlaega for example in omnivore mammals cheek teeth are the bunodont type and they are used for grinding the food material and uh, lophodont if the cusp are joined to form the ridges or lobes the tooth is called lophodont for example cheek teeth of elephant are called lophodont they are used for grind of all sort of plants or grasses not the exposed teeth, but uh, inside the jaws of elephant mouth, they are lophodonts. And these are the structure of various type of uh, teeth. Eh? This is triconodont, and this is the tritriverclates, and this one is the brachiodont molar, and this is hypsodonts, and these are the lophodonts, lophodont teeth. Now, secodonts, when the Cheek teeth are with sharp cutting crown is the teeth are called secodont. For example, terrestrial carnivore that these teeth possess cutting edges or are used to cutting the sh or sharing the flesh. Salinodont cheek teeth with the crescent shaped cusp and uh, uh, known as the salinodont. For example, ruminants or horses. Brachiodont. A brachydont break a tooth with a low crown and comparatively long roots and are called brachyodont. Brachy means short and don't means teeth. 
and for example molar and premolar in man now hypsodont when the crown is high and root are short open these are called hypsodont the exposed elephant's tusk are uh, come into this category these are called hypsodont now dental formula dental formula uh, incisor canine and premolars are in form of um, how many they are numbers numbers are shows in this manner and these are the incisor canine premolar and molars this is the typical primitive eutherian mammal this uh, the dental formula is the simpler form of this may be expressed in this form and among the monotremes and trichoglossus does not possess the teeth and any stage ornithorhynchus have no teeth in their mouth these are the various uh, dental formula of various animals various mammals now significance of tooth teeth are the so characteristic of mammals that their classification is based on largely on their dentition thus the study of dentition is important for taxonomic work on of mammals the number of teeth present give an idea of the approximate age of mammals the study of dentition help in the deciding the pedigree analysis or ancestry of certain mammals this is all about the dentition and mammals. Thank you. Thank you very much.